Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bear With Me. We are back. The Reef Kings just died. Um, let's have a look around his room. I guess he kept it as a reminder of Tigran. I guess he kept it as a reminder of Tigran. Okay, that's all the same. Voodoo candle? Mm, it's snuffed out. Have we got anything to light it with? Nope. Just keys. Seems like there's a key on him. Oh, and another key. Nice. Uh, let's see what's in the vault. Cause there's nothing else other than going up to the study again. Uh, there's four keys. Okay. Uh, air key looks like it's Maybe that lock. Maybe would be a better place for a key. Just saying. No idea what that is. It's usually where the key goes. Yeah, I know. Water, fire. That would be fire. Here we go. There we go, yeah. Air should be this one. Maybe a lock would be a better place for a key. Just saying. Maybe not. Air uh, this one. Maybe a lock would be a better place for a key. Just saying. Maybe this one. There we Two go. go. <laughs> so that's water then. Water. Almost there. And then this is love? That, or, you know, use it in a lock. Oh, and over this one here, earth. That's earth. Okay. That's the keys. Now what? Hey, these lines I get. It's a heart. Um. That, or, you know, use it in a lock. Why is that? Oh. Oh. So I turn them and it turns something on. Uh, yeah, that's not right. Um. Oh, okay. So you have to do it in sets of four until it finishes it. Okay. This is adding another level of pain in the ass. Um, right. One eternity later. I got it. That took forever, but I, <laughs> I got there in the end. Ooh. Ooh, it lights up. Ah, easy peasy. Easy peasy, first try. Holy bunch of baggage, Batman. There's a suitcase. I'll, I'll just take, take that. his purse with me. Loads of evidence. Evidence suitcases, I'll take that. I'll hold on to it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Um mm, King's Evidence. Uh what's next? 
to leave. I have to go back up this way. Yeah, I have to go this way. Um. I guess I need to go. I can't use a map, so I can't fast travel. To the living room? I need to actually work my way back, I suppose. Let's go back to Sharky and Ducky. It's a war zone in here. Look at them all. Look at that dead policeman there. There you go. Seaside entrance. Huh. Hey, Sharky. Take your time, bear. Waddling over those small little legs of yours. What happened? King's dead. Let's go. Dead? Holy barnacle! What about the girl? She's not here. Well, that's good. Did you get my stuff? stuff? Yeah. Yeah, Let's yeah, I go. got it. Where From to his, uh, now, Bear? Take me back to the shore. Aye. Strange nightmare. It's about to get stranger. Okay. A bear always pays his debts. King passing away like that made me realize he was the only one of this sinister bunch to show me some integrity in the end. I have to give him some credit for that. Seems like an underwhelming end for the king of crime, if you ask me. Double-crossed and shot by the police, even more crooked than he was. I was relieved to hear the doll made it out okay, even though she's in Locke's hands now. With King gone, Mills acquired the rest of the PCPD forces to his side. The power of money has no equal, I guess. I know Locke. I served under him in the Great Pillow War of 38. He's competent, intelligent, disciplined, and the only man in this goddamn city that can actually follow up on his threats. I remember the day he was promoted to the chief of police. I thought he was a great choice. We all did. What a bunch of idealists we were. The years that followed took their toll on Locke. He was becoming more shady in his operations. Soon enough, it was impossible to distinguish his actions from the ones he was so rigorously condemning in his speeches. Now, he's nothing more than a common criminal. A dangerous one at that. With every threat I unravel, the outcome seems more bleak. Not only do I have to worry about a lunatic arsonist in the loose, now I have an entire goddamn police department to deal with. I can't get blindsided by all of this. I still have to find Amber. If what King told me holds any merit, seems logical. Locke would bring the doll back to the precinct for questioning just long enough for Red to conveniently find his way there. So I have that's to get where there we're fast, going then. But that means I won't back have to any precinct. time to prepare my next move. It's time to find out if an old bear can still think on his feet. CBG has gone off the radar. I could really use his help right now. Things are finally starting to make some sense, and I use the term very loosely. Mills has gone insane out of fear. Both him and King thought they could use Red for their own game. It was already too late when it dawned on them. He can't be reasoned with. Red kept on rampaging, and the only way to stop him is to deliver him the only thing he wants. I'm left wondering if Red really gets to Amber, what'll happen then? It feels like I'm running towards a cliff with a blindfold on. But if something happens to the doll in the meantime, will there be a bridge for me at the end? Will there be any bridges left? At all? Make it. So what's this? Chapter 2 now? Yeah. Chapter 2. Here we go. Uh, suppose I'm going to the police station. It's Tigran's lair. There's the police station. Okay. And then he goes, no way, my mom's name is Martha too. And then they're like <laughs> best pals all of a sudden. Hmm, seems a bit contrived. 
Yeah, yeah. Took me long enough, I know. I was just about to say. Mr. Bear, did you go to King's Island? I did, Binky. It's all gone. Uh, it's Brian, sir. What's Brian, sir? It's his name, Ted. What? What are you? Oh, Brian. Sure, I know that. What do you mean it's all gone? I heard there was a massive shootout there. You heard right, Sam. King's dead, and so are his men. That's huge, Bear. This will send a ripple through the entire city. Oh, I know. Anyways, where's Amber? The interrogation room. Where's Locke keeping her? Miss Ashworth? She's not here, Mr. Bear. What? Where? Are you lying to me? Calm down, Ted. You were here this entire time. They didn't bring her here. I don't understand this. Where did they take her? She's not here, Mr. Bear. The only person in the interrogation room right now is your bat friend. I have to. Wait, CBG's here? I'm not sure what happened, but he's been on our wanted list for some time now. Commissioner doesn't condone vigilante justice. I need to get inside and talk to him. Sam, listen. I found some stuff at King's that will clear up a lot of these things. Can I trust you with it? What is it? Is it safe to talk here? Well, it is a police station, Mr. Bear. You're right. Let's wait till we're somewhere safe. You got a place in mind? <laughs> I'll meet you all later at the old lookout point above the city. You know the place, Sam. I'll give you this, but promise me you'll keep it on you at all times. This thing, Sam, it goes all the way to the top. I believe in you, Ted. I'll have a glance at it when we get somewhere safe. This is the night, Sammy. It's time to take them all down. Uh, let's enter the police station then. Because I guess we need to go... Hey, Betty. Uh, there's Pete. Okay. Evidence room, interrogation room. Keep calm and shoot first. <laughs> hey! Where do you think you're going? Hey! Where do you think you're going? To the interrogation room. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Fine, I'll speak to you. Jesus. Hmm. It's that future billionaire. Um... Hmm. Hey there, doll. Glad to see you're okay. I wish I could say the same thing. Can you, like, drop the act just this once? No. It's more fun this way. Besides, you're not getting off the hook that easy. So, they brought you in for questioning. Oh, what gave it away? Me standing in the middle of the goddamn police station getting frustrated by incompetent idiots instead of relaxing at home? I already told you, miss. It's a standard procedure. No need for name call. Oh, shut the hell up. I mean, rude. So, what happened? You've cheated on me with what's-her-face. <sighs> I meant, why are you here? I honestly don't know, Ted. I was getting ready for work when the police came knocking on my door. They brought me here and told me to wait. They dragged poor Pete here as well. He seemed... He seems okay with it. I have no idea what happened, but I bet it has something to do with you. Me? Who else? You show up unexpectedly, and the next thing I know, I get arrested the following day. Um, no one's getting arrested. It's a standard procedure, miss. Yeah, see, it's a standard procedure, miss. Don't you take his side! Anyways, do you have any idea what all this is about? This idiot wasn't exactly helpful. I'll never... just the meanest woman in the world. It was Red Doll. He burned down the diner. Well... Can't say I'll miss the place. But to think I must have missed him by what? Couple of minutes? Dear lord, that's terrifying. Yeah, well, stay here for now. Even though it doesn't it's seem really like good that the she's police alive. station is probably the safest I place thought for I killed you to be her right now. Are you going after that lunatic? Something like that. I need to find the doll first. I mean, of course you lost her. That's so typical. I didn't lose her. We had a fight and we parted ways. So where is she? That's what I'm trying to find out. Listen, doll, I need to get inside that interrogation room. What for? B's in there. I need to talk to him. CBG? Yeah. He got arrested. Something about vigilante justice and junk. Oh, what nonsense! If anything, they should pay him for doing some actual police work around here. Right. Anyways, can you, well, keep that idiot over there busy for a while? Do I look like his supervisor? Keep him busy how, exactly? Well, you know. Wow, that's insulting in so many ways. You're really setting the bar high these days. Look, I'm not asking you to take him out to dinner. 
just keep him entertained for a couple of minutes. Well, you snoop around the police station? Exactly. Fine, but you'll owe me for this. Sure, whatever. Just make sure he's focused on you. What in the hell? You know, do your woman-y thing. I'm literally speechless. I'm having a hard time believing that. Ugh, whatever. Just make it quick. You're the best, doll. I owe you one. I hope you get shot! Hey there, honey. I'm sorry I was a bit rude earlier. Oh, well, it's understandable, miss. My, you're so handsome. Didn't notice that before. And that mustache is just, um, so great. Um, thank <laughs> you, miss. It's a real mustache. Well, of course it is. You're such a dashing young man. I bet all the girls just go crazy for you. Girls? What girls? Have they said something? So, is being a cop dangerous? I bet it's all sorts of dangerous. You must be so brave. Well, it is. I mean, it can be. The other day, they sent me to a donut shop and on the way back, a bee flew into my mouth. Oh. Oh my, what on earth did you do? Well, I swallowed it, but, you know, no big deal. Amazing. You must have such stories. Yeah, this one time, my friend Dave and I threw a rock at a fish, and it just flipped over like, bloop, just floated up. Wow, go on. And this one time at band camp? Yeah, I'm just gonna carry on going. That went on for way too long. Huh. <sighs> Okay, so she's alive. That's good. Hey, CBG. All right, buddy, I'm here. <laughs> Hang in Let's there. Let's do this. So, <laughs> what do we have here? You better start spilling the beans, you lowlife, or this cocktail party might end early. What the? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa there, buddy. Who the hell are you? What do you mean? I'm the bad cop. The what? The bad cop, you know. Good cop, bad cop routine. Get into it, guy. I thought that only works in movies. And it's Officer Lawrence. What's Officer Lawrence? It's my name. Yeah, yeah. Listen, pal. Are we doing this or not? I don't have all night. I guess. Wait, where's your badge? It's in the last guy who asked me that. In him? What? All right, sweetheart. You better tell me everything you know. About what? About your pension plan. The Red Man Cupcake. You working for him? What's he paying you? What the hell are you talking about, Ted? My name's not Ted. It's Bentley Dangers. That's Officer Dangers to you, buddy. Don't know that Ted fellow, but he sounds awesome. Sure. Well, <laughs> officer, as I already told your partner here, I'm not saying another word unless you tell me what I'm being charged for. Obstruction of justice, impersonating the man of the law withholding information. That's some of the big dogs right there. You're going away for a long time, scumbag. Okay, so let's go step by step. What happened last night? After I left your place, I waved your wife goodbye from the street and then I went home. Oh, damn. <laughs> he got you. <laughs> he got you. He got you good. Anyway, what happened last night? Look, I was at the docks. The docks? What were you doing there? Seems to me a good friend might have told you to stay away from that place. Well, I was on my way home when I noticed Clark in the water. Clark the stalker? Nice circle of friends you have. He's not my goddamn friend, but I couldn't just let the guy drown. Why not? It's... what do you mean why not? Anyways, I was ready to shoot him with my grappling gun. Sure. When I heard something behind me. Was it destiny? No, it was that red-hooded freak. Hmm, what do you think, partner? Hmm. Not sure. Dangers? Okay, so, then what happened? How did you end up in the bay? Well, your wife wanted to go skinny dipping, and I hate to disappoint her, too. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. You got served, Lawrence. You got served. Haha, <laughs> right? Shut up, you. As I said, I was about to pull that idiot out of the bay when I heard someone behind me. I turned around, and there he was, eyes as empty as your bank accounts. Fire rising behind him, smoke engulfing him. It was the scariest thing I ever saw. I took a step back, but I ended up in the bay. He got close to the ledge, waiting for me and Clark to come up. So, we started swimming the other way. And that's when we found you. What happened to the other guy, that Clark fellow? He went home, I presume. Listen, I didn't do nothing. You're wasting your time and my time. Are you in a hurry? I promised your mom I would take her out dancing tonight. 
Oh, I didn't it, do pal. nothing. You've done it now. Okay. Lawrence, son, go and grab us a cup so you of did coffee do from across the street. This is going to get ugly. Sure thing, dangers. How do you take it? Uh, give me a peppermint soy latte. Get me a nerve wreck double special. Get me half and half. Nerve wreck double special sounds right for me. Double special, no foam, five sugars infused, chocolate flavored chest buster. Whoa, there, buddy. Keep it light. You better shut it, Doctor Phil. Chest buster. Cool. Cheeve. Okay, what the hell, Ted? Shut up. Listen, I'm here to bust you out. Do you have anything on you that might help us? Sure, I have some stuff in my utility belt, but they took it away. It's probably in the evidence room. I'll go and check. Don't move. So funny. I would laugh, but the restraints hurt my hands when I do. Uh, so I just need to... Go back then. The front desk. Go to the evidence room. That's where I guess his stuff will be. It's locked. Shocking. Damn it. Maybe Brian has some. Um. <laughs> Brian has something. Ah, just a random shotgun in the umbrella stand. Hey guys, you got any keys for me? Brandon, son, I need to get inside the evidence room. Somehow. I have a key, Mr. Bear. Yeah. But it's okay, son. He just needs to borrow it real quick. Ted's not a thief. You can say that again. I guess. Here you go, Mr. Bear. Just It's okay, Chief. You'll get it back. Right, back in. I'm gonna inspect this first. Of course there's a gun in there. Why not? <laughs> Evidence room. Let's go. Unless I need to use the key for my inventory. Nope, no, nope, nope, yep, evidence room key. On that. Thank you, Brennan. Stuff. Can't say I recall a case like that. Stuff. Utility belt. Got it. I should head back. Let's see if there's anything else in here. What the? Maybe not. Whoa, what in the hell? Well, you took your sweet time. I got antsy, so I improvised a bit. What the? You blew a hole in the police station wall. Ah, don't worry. I'll send them an anonymous contribution. Sure. B, listen. Sam and I are meeting later tonight at the old place. I stumbled onto some new information you might find interesting. I'll be there, Snoop. Watch your back, you crazy loon. Okay. I really wanted to look at more stuff in that evidence room. Oh well. Let me guess. It took me long enough. Your word, Snoop. Rookie over there seems nervous. First time toppling the oppressive regime, kiddo. Don't worry about me, Mr. Bear. I'm here to help. And what made you switch sides so suddenly? I'm only asking because the other 99% of the police force is as crooked as it gets. I know, Mr. Bear. That's one of the main reasons I'm here with you tonight. It's... It just doesn't feel right anymore. You mean your boss, following the dollar-shaped crumbs that pig is throwing him? Well, there's that, yeah. Also, I really care for Miss Ashworth. I want to help in any way I can. As you should, son. Okay, so what's going on here? I didn't sign up to be a babysitter, Ted. Sam, did you have time to go through that case I gave you? I glanced over it. It's big, Snoop. King compiled everything to put Mills away for good. I mean, there's photos of the meeting with Red, audio logs, a list of people on the take, everything. So, what's the plan? Sam, you go back to Paper Daily and do your thing. Just make sure this hits the streets by tomorrow morning. Once it's out in public, Mills is going to have the whole city after him. You got it, pal. Brian, son. You go through that list in that briefcase and gather all the cops you can find that are not on it. Get it? Yes, sir, Mr. Bear. <laughs> the strongest smiley face. And that leaves us. You, loon. We need to find Amber. Last I know, she was at King's Island, but Locke was there with his bulls. I don't know where they took her, but it sure wasn't the precinct. A 
Mad King? He's gone to the Big One B. Just like that? We can start at the Mayor's Mansion and... No need for that, Bear. I know where they took her. What? How could you know that? There's something I need for you to see before we go get her, Ted. What is it? Go to the East Tunnel. The one that leads... To Flint's room. Yeah, I know. Or does it, Ted? What do you mean? Listen to me, Ted. Go and see for yourself, and then come meet me downtown. The girl will be there. How will I know where to find... Oh, God damn it! That's right, Bear. Look for the seagulls. Look at where they flock. <laughs> B, God damn it! I don't have time for this. I thought you snoops were supposed to keep an open mind. I... I'm your friend, Ted, and I care for the girl. You just... You have to trust me on this one. Go through the tunnel and see where it takes you. After that, come find me at the place where the seagulls flock. If this turns out to be a wild seagull chase, B, we won't get another chance. You understand that? I do, Bear. All right. I trust you. I'll go scout ahead. Assess the threat level. Meet me after you're done. Brian. Sir? Once you gather those few good men, meet us downtown. If it all goes as planned, we could get rid of that bastard Mills and the Red Man, all in the same night. So, we're really doing this, aren't we? Hate's getting to you, buddy. Good thing I can keep a cool head, yeah? Mm. Ted? Goddamn, I need a drink. That was an odd dot to connect. Well, you said cool head, and I thought of... Ice? Yeah, ice. And how it goes well with carrot juice and... Okay. I'm going to actually end the episode there, guys. I will see you in the next episode of Bear With Me, where we'll go through the tunnel. Goodbye. Thank you ever so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ding that bell. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook at forward slash Gaming. Goodbye.